Good morning, children. Yes, I would like to show you some masks here. Let's see. This is loin, right? Fox, tiger. Then yeah, yeah, one more nice tiger. See, I have done this all mask. Elephant, right? Okay. Then here also Mugli and the bear, right? I just want to show you some animals. Elephant, which is see this all animals which we have done. Now you all like these all are wild animals, right? Wild animals, birds. Then see this is elephant, right? Elephant. Bear, rabbit. Okay, this is rabbit. This is bird. Okay, so many animals we see in jungle. We see the birds, animals, reptiles, and all. Then who is the king of jungle? Lion is the lion is the king of jungle. We all know, right? So today we will know about some animals. It is not that only human beings are. Uh, that we humans are polite, helpful, kind, you know. And animals also, they are having their relation, kind and all here. They are sharing also, they are uh, loving also. You can see the nest, uh, the bird's nest which we had learned. How they get for the young ones food and all and how they, you know, it is all what we are in the, when they are feeling. You can see the dog, dog is so faithful, you know. So loving and faithful cat, it understands our language. Parrot speaks. We, we have learned. So uh, so even they ha they share feel uh, and also uh, in in their world in their animal world how we do also. I think uh, I feel animals are far better than us. I feel so. Children today we uh, as I told you about uh, lion and uh, bird and uh, other animal rabbit tiger, fox, many, many animals are there in the jungle. How they live and all, I mean, small uh, story is there uh, by, in the poem. It is telling how they are sharing, helping, kind, how kind they are. We will just learn about this poem. Now, we know, we all know that uh, lion is a very proud animal because it's a king of a jungle, right? It's a very proud, you know, if you feel that the proud means it's all having there. But in this poem, the kind king, okay, kind. Now, as I told you, lion is the king of jungle. The kind king here is lion. And how he is kind, we will learn in this poem. That is the kind king, okay. Now, let us do the warm-up uh, session that Chef Pablo is making a special soup today. Okay, the soup will make him the world a kind place. What magical things do you think he puts in the soup? Okay, this is in your, just it's a warm up. We will just see what it is. Help the chef Pablo make the soup by selecting some more things to be put into the pot. Circle them and draw lines to put them in the pot. One has been done for you. Now, he is doing the soup and all the good things. It is not that like ingredients like uh, masalas like pepper, chili powder, turmeric, coriander powder, all those masalas, it's not this big. Here, he wants to share, he wants to make a soup of all the uh, the kindness, the caring things in this, he wants to put there. So, in, in this uh, soup, what the things that were politeness, those words of being uh, goodness, he's putting there, we will uh, see the 12 things there then. Caring, sharing, hitting others, saying polite words, listen carefully, giving high fives, showing anger, punching, loving, speak rudely, smiling, pushing. Now you want to make something good or you want to be a good. What are these things here like? Caring? Yes. I will 
care. How your mama cooks you soup all with love, care, you know, like very hygienic because the uh, husband, the children, her family, all mother in law, her family is going to have this soup here. So, here also in this, let us make this soup with our all goodness. Uh, we add our goodness in that soup. So, what caring? Yes, we will add that in the soup because we, we care and we make it, we love it. Okay. Then, sharing, yes, when we eat that, you know, this is just the soup, what we add, the goodness, the soup, how the soup is delicious, colorful. So, even in our life also, whether it is in the animal world or human world, that uh, how good we are, it is very, very important. Okay. Better human being, better person better people good people we have to learn so through, through this all this poem we are going to learn about how it is how to help one another how to take care okay then here the soup also so so many things they are negative also and positive if you put something positive that that soup or we are good beautiful okay that is the thing we are having here here in this way about the story about the lion and the bird and the mouse is there how goodness and kindness is it is telling and here in the soup how the, the things if we add this goodness how the soup becomes okay so caring sharing so put in that bowl of sugar okay that soup okay just mark here that pencil which is the good quality okay how it make how you will make tasteful Hitting others, it's very bad. You can't hit others. It is very, very bad. It's not good. So you don't add in that your soup. Okay, saying polite words. As we have learned the polite words in our last lesson. Thank you, excuse me, please, sorry. All these polite words, we can add it and make it more tastier, more, better soup, good soup. Listen carefully. Yes, when uh, many people... They only speak, speak, talk, 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 okay. But listening is best, you know, listening is the best. If you listen, you will follow everything. So more than talking, talking all, you know, listen carefully. Listen to people, okay, what they are saying. You, by listening to them, you understand them. Only you talking, it's not the thing. So listening carefully is also one good quality. Add in the soup. So the chef Pablo wants to add in that soup because it's a good one. Giving high fives, yes, for goodness, high fives you can add, but not for the bad. Okay. Showing anger. No. So if you show anger and put more salt, how it is? How the soup will taste good? No, it will not taste good. Punching. No, you shouldn't punch or hit or any uh, others as I told. Loving, yes. Loving is one another. Love everyone. So if you love, uh, you love everyone, so your that soup is going to become good speaking rudely so rudely means harshly very badly speaking rudely means very badly speaking back answering and speaking very angrily so that is called rudely so you should never speak to rudely to anyone speak them in a humble way kind way okay in a loving polite use polite words so these are the bad qualities which if you bad things if you add more things or bad uh, all masalas how the soup becomes not good, right? So the good things if you put the soup will be tasty. Smiling, always smile. Okay, children always smile. You should always be smiling whenever like I know some of this. You're crying and all, you're pampering and all, your parents and all. But always smile. One smile, you know, it, it, it makes everything the meaning beautiful. Just don't be sit with your grum face. Grum face means hang face. Don't do that. Always keep smiling. Okay, pushing, no pushing children, very, very bad habit children usually have pushing, you know, in their fight or whatever, like with playing with your sister, brothers, your friend, so no pushing, okay, don't do that, okay, done, all the good things like caring, sharing, saying polite words, listen carefully, loving, smiling, all the chef Pablo added in the soup and how the soup becomes, Good, very tasty, yes. The same way in our lives, if you add something good in the correct way, balanced way, the soup also becomes tasty. So even we as a human, we as the uh, animals, we as a humans and like animals, so be good, be polite, 
be sharing caring loving so everything will be good so let us learn now about the kind king as i told you the lion here the character uh, in this poem is lion lion and bird and mouse it's a nice story in the poem they have said let us learn how they are uh, helping each other and, and uh, as i told you that lion is a very proud proud animal and he is the king of the jungle but not always here in this poem let's see how he is okay the snoring lion with the mane wake you up with the roar so loud to find a mouse jumping on him which the lion king never allowed he caught the mouse in his teeth the little mouse could hardly speak see this is so nice the snoring lion with the mane mane is that hair you know the hair around this uh, lion okay you know lion has that hair right so that is called mane what it is called mane around this so here you can see that hair here you can see you know this black black here all this you know you can see this is the mane i can show you in your textbook see this is your right this is the lion right and this is the mane what is that hair around it no it is called mane m e n e mane and here the lion is the main character bird and the mouse now let's see the first para the snoring lion with the mane woke up with the roar so loud to find a mouse jumping on him which the king never allowed he caught the mouse in his teeth the little mouse could hardly speak here as we know you know we get scared you know all uh, even animals get because it's a king so he woke up with roar so loud you know that loud we know all lion is a lion is a very loud animal with the roar what the sound it makes is called roar to find a mouse jumping on him the mouse was jumping on him which the lion king never allowed because it is proud animal king animal which never allowed but you see he caught the mouse in his teeth he caught the mouse in his teeth the little mouse could hardly speak you know listening to he got scared because the because lion caught the mouse she couldn't speak i'm sorry i'll never come near when your majesty is asleep you know he's saying this he got scared and saying i'm sorry i never come near when your majesty is asleep you know for the king he called your majesty we say you no know, king so when your majesty is asleep oh dear please do not eat me be kind i ask be kind to me i will always be your friend when you need a hand i land okay he saying i'm sorry because it was jumping on me you know when he was sleeping so it, i will never come here when your majesty or when you are sleep so oh dear he saying oh dear please don't eat me okay don't eat me it is requesting the lion that don't eat me okay i'll always be your friend you know friend is the uh, mouse is saying that i'll be always your friend and whenever you need a hand i'll help him i'll lend my helping hand he said help you and king laughed and said that bird in this tree you see it is foot is caught in a string you can help to set it free so it'll be kind and let you go to that bird some kindness you show the lion laughed you know when the mouse said the lion laughed and said that bird in the tree in that tree you just help him okay help him that us ki it is foot foot means its leg that foot it is caught in a string string means that wire type you can see in this picture see you can see this string okay it is caught in a string you can help him to set it free so he'll be kind and let you go to that bird some to that earth some kindness will show they will show the some kindness there and help him out to let him be free off he ran to work out a simple plan with his sharp teeth he hit the string the bird spread its little wings said thank you it flew off in a blink 
you know blink means very quickly blink means you no know, it flew off in very quickly you know and when a bird you know now just now uh, one sparrow was there in my class before taking i was just thinking it had got stuck and i opened the windows it is was still not able to go out so suddenly when he got that place to go out suddenly he flew out means uh, very quickly it flew away the one part window i had opened the other part window i opened it then it got it idea yeah, again yeah, it's the place and he uh, the sparrow flew it flew off very blinkly quickly very quickly so here also how is the how the mouse helped him how this bird, to the bird the mouse helped him how by cutting off okay simple plan with his sharp teeth he bit the string you know mouse has a sharp you know it's everything you know even clothes and all so what for him he cut uh, the string what he said what he did he bit the string he cut and bit it spread it little wings he removed that bird had caught the bird had caught its uh, feet in its uh, the with string so it bit the string and the bird what happened spread its wings okay i said thank you see it didn't go flew it flew it didn't go fastly flew away but it said thank you and flew off in a blink in a fast blink uh, blink means very quickly in that very quickly also he said thank you to that mouse so here we can see that see how lion also the king of jungle when we say lion is a very proud animal here he is also kind and is asking to help the bird okay how to help the bird so when he, to show when he asked like the mouse was scared okay but uh, when he said i'll be your friend you uh, leave me don't eat me okay then he said the lion that so if you want to really help you help that bird yeah help that bird and he'll show your kindness okay show your kindness so what the mouse did it went up to the tree up there where the bird was sitting it had got stuck with the string so he ran out and simple plan what he did with his sharp teeth mouse he bit the string and the bird was set free and it flew away in a blink very quickly so this is what even the lion is the king of jungle but he is also kind he is also friendly and how mouse help the a bird so in this poem we learn the kindness okay uh, the fear also we learn here happiness is there fear where we are learning fear because mouse is fear of a lion that you no know, he disturbed the mouse disturbed the lion now he the mouse was scared that the lion will eat him so what the mouse said sorry he said sorry see the kind words in he said he let, let me i'll help you when you are in need okay lend your help when you are in need there the lion was not proud but instead he asked that bird he knew that bird was at pot string he couldn't help it because go to the tree and it flew it flew away but he told how he could help the bird he said go to the bird and set him free his foot had caught in a string so help him to set free and this is how the mouse helped by biting the string okay with the sharp teeth so the blur the bird flew away happily but said thank you while going also when it flew away it said said thank you so here we will learn in this poem the kindness the fear the happiness so all the things we and the free freeness you know everyone want to be free right uh, poor that bird was stuck there the bird was stuck with the string so here we learn about the bird and not and as i told you we can you can make any mask you see any mask now this is the bird which i own here okay many masks have this is the rabbit some animals i have made okay like a mask then i have made here Uh, monkey elephant lion now which is a character of our uh, poem tiger see you can make this cut paste and all you can use this way any ideas if you are having okay if you are not only mask of making mask or anything like 
you can make any alias of animals you can make and use any material if you want okay any material whatever is available at home either you want to make mask or something else or some any different ideas you take okay and you can use any things like woolen old woolen sweater you can use beads okay uh, paper plates if you have in whatever uh, available at home any material which is uh, available it is not only that you have to wear uh, make activity of mass or anything you can make any different activities different ideas new ideas of animals what you want to create okay children the remaining text part we will uh, do in the next class so the grammar the textual work by the time read the poem okay and learn it and see and you also have to be a good and kind person in your life okay children that is very very important thank you